Good afternoon everyone. Today we're going to be demonstrating the ASTM cast iron chip test. What this will demonstrate to us is the <clears throat> alkalinity reserve or corrosion inhibition capabilities of your grinding fluid. What, what you have here in your kit, you should have a 10cc syringe, a 60 milliliter drop bottle, two tubes containing cast iron beads, and two petri dishes with a one micron filter media inside. What we're going to do first here, we're going to go ahead and place our first two grams of cast iron beads on top of our one micron filter media. And once we've done that, we're going to grab our gray water sample, which I've already pulled out of an in-process tank. We're going to place two cc's onto our first petri dish here. I'm going to go ahead and saturate the sample entirely. And once you've done that, Place your lid on, set this petri dish off to the side. Now with our second petri dish, what we're going to go ahead and do is, once again, we're going to place on our two grams of acid wash cast iron beads. Distribute them as evenly as you can. Now, in your squeeze bottle, you have one cc of water cool. Our recommended dilution rate of water cool to water is 50 to 1. With that said, we're going to go ahead and pull off our dropper lid and fill our 10 cc syringe five times. This will give us our 50 to 1 dilution rate. This is the best way to tell what's going on inside of your equipment before you have to open it up. Are you getting the proper amount of corrosion inhibition in your fluid? So, we're going to place our dropper lid back on, give it a good shake to ensure a proper blend. We're going to, we will now saturate the second sample with our 50 to 1 dilution blend. of water cool and water. Place our lid back on our petri dish, set that off to the side as well. Now for, for purposes of this video, I've already set up a couple of tests. After approximately an hour and a half, what you will see on this sample We are already seeing corrosion starting to form, essentially flash rusting. And once the sample completely dried down, as you can see, the entire sample has corroded over. Both those samples were not treated with the water cool. This sample here has been treated with the water cool, and as you can see, there is zero rust and the beads flow freely. If you have any questions, please contact your water treatment solutions representative for advice. Thank you.